This is the Harmar AL 500 HD. The HD stands for 400 pound lifting capability. So this is a platform with four straps with the 400 pound lifting capability. And it does have the swing away. So if you have a vehicle with a tailgate or an SUV or a pickup truck and you need to open this, it does have the swing away. So what you do with that, you pull the red handle out, pull the blue handle back and push it away from the vehicle and then you open your door. Do not open the lift with the power chair on the lift. If you do that with the power chair on the lift, the swing away will not shut properly. You'll bend the arms. So this is called the swing away right here. You put it back in and this is a precaution pin. You put that pin in there for precaution. One quick heads up on these lifts. These lifts right here, if you want to save yourself a lot of headaches, this bar right here, right here, this bar, you need to keep this bar as clean as you can. Degrease it every so often. Make sure it's really shiny and clean. And there's also a wheel here. I'm, I'm spinning a metal wheel. So what I would do between this wheel, this wheel has to go and cross this bar. When you leave the house, if you watch me right here, spray with WD-40. Do not put lithium grease. Do not put any other type of grease. Just put this on there every time you leave the house. So you have a smooth transition when the wheel goes in front so you don't have any snapping you don't bend anything so keep this and keep this wheel moving keep them clean wd-40 you'll get 10 years of, ex of usage out of this liquid no problem so you just turn the key to the right right here push the button down the noise you hear is perfectly normal so this lift here, what you would do is you would make sure your straps are outside the platform before you put your chair on here, like that. So you don't roll over, you don't roll over the straps with your chair and throw your chair sideways. And when you go down, the platform will go down on a funny angle. When you come back up, it'll give you that tilting, that nice uh, angle right here. If you see right now, it'll start going down, down this way. That is normal. So you go all the way down until it touches right here on this corner right here. Right here where my foot is. And if you want to, before the platform hits the ground, you can pull, the, you can pull it out like this. So the platform is more out this way when you drive your chair on there. So do not go any further than that because if you keep going, you're going to raise, you're going to raise your car. You don't need to be raising your car. Only go until the platform touches the ground. And this is made for heavy, heavy power chairs. So I'm going to bring a heavy power chair here. So this is a. This is a Quantum, Quantum 6 edge power chair. This is a 400 pound power chair. So you would take your straps. This chair already has hooks on it. So you would hook your strap right to the docking device, right to the hook right there. Do not over tighten your strap. You don't need to have more than this. If you, the more you tighten up the strap, the, the harder it is on the, on the uh, buckle. So put your four straps on. Very important. Because this is a 400 pound lift capability and this chair weighs about 390, almost 400 pounds, the lift will lift, no problem at all. But always run your engine when you raise the chair up. It helps the alternator send more power to the battery and the battery sends out a little more power to the lift. It gives you a little quicker lifting capability and a little bit easier on your lift. So I'm going to start my car. So now we're going to go up with the lift. Now it's got that funny angle, but it'll come back in a second. 
when this wheel over here touches on the bottom of the lift right here, there's a wheel where my foot is, it'll climb up on the lift. As you can see right there, it gives you a better angle. When you hear that noise, you can stop before you hear that if you can. You're all the way at the top of the lift, okay? So here's your chair. You're sitting on the lift right now, 400 pound power chair. The only thing you have to be careful of when you're going down the road, speed bumps, railroad track, make sure you slow down a little bit. Uh, but other than that, if it's flat, you can go 60, 70 miles an hour, it's no problem. The chair will always follow your lift. So you'll see the chair, it's following the frame and it's following the lift. So it's not going anywhere. Also, when we send this lift, we send a cable like this. This is a heavy, heavy duty cable. You have to have this cable connected to your battery. Do not go to your, bat to your trailer plugs. Do not go to your tail lights. Go directly to the battery because this will give you a little, a little more power on your lift because you're gonna need all the power you need for, to lift this chair up on this 400 pound almost chair with this 400 pound capability lift. Also, when we send the lift, Make sure you use the cable. The cable will come with the lift. We're going to send you a pin like this. This pin right here has a sleeve on it. You can see the sleeve right here. This sleeve goes on the end of the pin right here. And when you put this through your hitch, this sleeve will go inside your hitch and it'll take all the wobble, like there's no wobble on the lift when you're going down the road without weight on the lift. You don't want your lift going like this. Now, this will take all the play out of your lift. So, let's bring the chair down. So now when you have the chair up in the air, you can pull the straps, and when you pull the straps off, you can't, they're stuck in there. You have to push the red handle in, and you can see, see how it's on a spring. You can see that right there. And it tightens itself. So when you put the strap on here, just give it one crank or two, nothing more than that. To get the strap off, you have to push the handle, let it go on the outside. Again, push the handle down, let the strap go on the outside. So now we're going to bring the lift down. Bring the chair off either way, front or back. I'm going to turn the power back on the chair. I like to go backward, right off the lift. When you raise the lift back up, do not leave the platform down if you're at the store. Someone's going to ride over it for sure. So always make sure you put it back up. When you put the platform back up, when there's no chair on here, it will flip up automatically. So now there's no chair, instead of keep going up, it'll flip up. You can see it right here, it's gonna happen right about now. This is, and you can see there's no play in this lift. It's because we have that pin, there's no play in the lift. Also on the top of this lift, you have a backup right here. There's a little plastic cap on top if I pull the plastic cap, you can see in there, you can put a 3-8 socket and you can manually, you can manually crank this lift down. So if you ever lost power or something happened to your lift, keep a, rat, a ratchet set 3-8, you can crank it down manually, make sure the key is off, make sure the power is off if you're going to go up and down manually. That's only if you broke down and you cannot use power to get your lift up. That's how you would do it. So again, let's recap. This is the AL500 lift. It's the HD model. The HD model will also have a, a, a welded PC in the corner, on both corners and the bottom. So if you want to know if you have an HD lift, look for this welded piece right here, this angle iron on both corners. That's to reinforce the platform right here. That also tells you it's an HD lift. 400 pound lifting capability. 
Always run your engine when you raise the chair up. You don't have to do it when you're going down. Uh, use the pin. Use the cable we're going to send you. Do we send you with it? Use the harness. Use this pin. And use common sense. And you'll get many, many years of, of usage out of this lift. This is a really good lift. It's the Harmar AL 500 HD. I highly recommend it if you have a chair that's fairly heavy. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800 677 6293, or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.